Hi guys, it's Kim and today I decided to redo the headers and banners video that I did before. If you can remember, if you have watched that video, it was a messy video because I didn't do any pre-planning but I decided to do that video again with new fonts, new headers, new banners and I actually planned it a while ago before I started this video and so I hope you guys enjoy this video and find it as useful or even more useful than the last one. And for today, I would be using the Micron 0.5 pen so you guys can see what I'm writing better. So first and foremost, let's start with some bullets that you can use to spice up your notes or your bullet journals. So these are the various bullets that you can use in your notes or bullet journal. A heart, an exclamation point, an X, a flower, this line, an inverted triangle, circle without shading arrow check a star that's shaded in and finally a black triangle now let's do the font um i did a written tutorial for fake calligraphy before on tumblr and it has gained a lot of responses so i'm gonna do that again here in this video so for the fake calligraphy the first thing to do is to write what you want to write in cursive so for example i want to write study blur so i'm gonna write that in cursive Okay, just let's just go with study for now and then what you want to do is you want to put a line on the downstrokes so what do I mean by downstrokes by downstrokes I mean like if I'm writing letter a upstroke this is the downstroke up and down so this part is a downstroke and this one is another downstroke so what you want to do is you put a line on the downstrokes Okay, so put the line on the down strokes and sorry I shaded that but yeah okay so put a line 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 and then you either want to leave it at that but for fake calligraphy you shade those down strokes in Voila! Fake calligraphy. And for the letter T, I usually like to do this really thing to make it better. So you also may want to um, vary the writing a little bit like this. So. so, as you can see, the bottom parts of this word don't align with each other and it's a style that I sometimes use okay there you go so that's the first one I definitely like this one better but it's your choice if you want a neater one or this more free version of it. I also like using my gray markers. Um, so I just write out the words. And then I trace the outline with my ball pen. And there it is. Okay. 
This is actually a lot cuter when it's small. I saw this once from Tumblr and I decided that it's a nice one so I'm gonna do it here so what I saw was the word was written out using a marker and then the word oh sorry the word was written again using a ball pen but now in cursive so just write over the word there you go i also use this style so write the whole word anymore but there you go. Just put little dots on where you have ends. Hmm. Okay, so sometimes I like um, writing in such a way that all the letters would be equal in size so um, I write certain letters in I mean I write the word in both small and capital letters oh this word only has R so let's try another word um, Like here, E could be equal size as the capital H, so I'm using E. So I find this kind of writing neat and also cute in a way, so I use that. And then what else? Okay, so this is also one. And then another one is one without these dash dashes so Um, you can also use circles so okay. 
and then if you want to add more to it you can also add this to the sides and then there's also this banner thing writing the word and then putting two lines beside it now let's move on to the banners so this first one is one of my most used banner whenever I'm writing notes I use it for literally everything because I love it so much and I don't know what to call it but I'm just gonna show you guys so first I do parenthesis and then it's the le leafy thing but what I do to make it easier you know how we can draw out hearts like this so I just do that to the parenthes parenthesis oh my gosh I can't talk and then voila there you go and then I also use this kind of banner As you can see, I really love doing this shadow thing. And then, there's also this one. And then you're gonna want to shade this one in. And then if you don't like this curvy banner, you can also do a similar style with just a straight one. slash here slash and then just shade that in you can also do this in a curved manner like this Just put the slash mark and then shade. Okay, you can also use this arrow thing. And then something like this. If you want, you can also put, um, just trace the lines to give emphasis to it. This one. Usually, um, put like, lines like these oh, with this one, and then I also use this one. So, this one is like a paper with tape on the sides. And then I sometimes also just draw dashes and 
Hmm, what else? Okay, now this one is a clipboard. And this is the paper on the clipboard and if you want to make it like a corkscrew I sometimes put dots on the um, corkboard part to make an emphasis and then I also use bracket and this bracket and I usually put double double lines on them and then do the shadow slash thing again because I just love using them And then um, I also used this one time. Okay, so three lines and another three lines. Basically, it's just a box or a rectangle with three lines on each side, but the, these parts should overlap in the box and then you can just do a plain box or rectangle and then double it and then this one It's like a desktop for me desktop screen and then there is this one from here which is just a paper without the cork board and then you can also use speech bubbles oops oh well and then you can always use the shadow okay so since I've made a lot of mistakes on this one I'm just gonna shade that in so that the mistakes won't be noticeable okay and then let's go to some dividers now so the always go-to for dividers are arrows. There are a lot of different types of arrows that you can use, but this is my most used one. You can also use two of these at the same time, like... And then like this. Or all facing the same direction, whichever one you want. And then... So do this. And this. Sometimes I also like using that. And then putting those little heart thingies, leaves thingies on them. So I'm just gonna go around it and put them there so that's it and then these arrow thingies that look tribal then just little dots or you can shade those in then 
this one is just aligned with the leaves thingies again. And finally, this one with the infinity sign, but with added lines. Oops, sorry. I did that wrong. Okay, let's do that again. Oh, no. Looks like crap. And last but not the least is this banner that I use for when there are a lot of parts to just one category. So I just I put an arrow for the heading. So this is like part one, whatever. And then I have an intention and then information, information. And then once I go to part two, I put another banner. Part three. Then, after I'm done with everything, I just put a line over the side and then do the slash thing. And you guessed it, shade it in. So these are all the headers, banners, whatevers that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you again in another video soon. Bye!